So you've got this amazing PowerPoint deck that you've designed, or maybe you've been handed one from a subject matter expert and you're thinking to yourself, my goodness, I could just save so much time if I could just import this thing directly into Storyline. Well, you know what? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. And then I'm gonna tell you all of the reasons why I never import slides into Storyline. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. <laughs> Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. You know, as I mentioned in the opener, one of the questions I often get asked by those who are new or learning how to use Articulate Storyline for the first time is how can you import PowerPoint slides into Storyline? Well, you know what the good news is, is that you can do that and Storyline makes it super easy to do it. And on the surface, that might sound like a really great way to save a boatload of time. But, and there's a big but here, <laughs> there's a lot you need to know about why it may not be as much of a time-saving process as you might think. So let's start with how to import PowerPoint slides into Storyline, and then I'll tell you all the stuff you need to know. All right, so here I am in PowerPoint where I have this presentation that I've received from one of my subject matter experts, and I'm gonna bring this into Storyline to show you how to import PowerPoint slides into Storyline and show you some of the issues that you might run into. So we have this, you know, relatively beautiful looking PowerPoint presentation presentation with a title slide here. Uh, we have this slide here with an image, some pretty easy peasy stuff. We have this slide here with some smart art in PowerPoint, this slide here with these different icons, all sorts of stuff. It seems like pretty straightforward uh, content here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and let's go into Storyline here uh, to import it. Here I am in Story View and I'm just going to open up here into Slide View. Now before I import uh, my PowerPoint slides into Storyline, I want to highlight a couple of things that you need to take into account before you begin importing. First things first, you want to make sure you have PowerPoint installed on your computer. Um, it won't import it otherwise. And for most people, that's going to be a non-issue. But if you're like me using uh, Articulate Storyline on my Mac via Parallels, it's not good enough to have PowerPoint installed on my Mac side. You also have to have it installed on your Windows side. So that's a little bit of a caveat that you need to be aware of. The next thing that you need to be aware of is that you need to make sure your slide aspect ratio or slide size is the same as the slides in which you're importing. So by default, when you open up a new project in Storyline, you get a four by three aspect ratio. It's a square slide size here. The PowerPoint file I was just showing you is 16 by nine. So I need to change that. Otherwise it would scrunch it all and that would just be a horrible outcome. So I'm gonna go to my design tab, change my slide size and do 16 by nine. All right. We're ready to import. Let me show you how easy this is. And then I'm gonna show you some of the issues you need to be aware of. So to import my slides into Storyline, I'm just gonna to go to the file tab here in the ribbon. We're gonna do import and import PowerPoint. And this is where it's gonna allow me to select the PowerPoint file I want to import. I have this marketing presentation that my stakeholders have sent me. So I'm gonna click open. And what Storyline is gonna do is it's gonna scan the presentation. And it's gonna show me a series of thumbnails for all of the slides that I can import from PowerPoint. And by default, they're all selected here. I could choose to select none and then choose which ones I want to import, or I can select all and import them all. In this case, we're going to import them all just to see what it does. And then down here, I can choose to import into a new scene or into the current scene. So I'm just going to import these into the current scene that I have opened, and then we're going to click import. And what Storyline is going to do is it's going to scan that presentation and it's going to take all of the shapes and the text and the images and everything else and it's going to convert most of it into editable objects in Storyline so that we can edit the text and the shapes and all of that good stuff. So we'll give it a moment and then I'll be back here to show you the output. All right, so Storyline has finished importing my slides here. And you know, right off the bat, we can see some major issues. It's messed up my text here. Um, but otherwise, Storyline has done a relatively acceptable, maybe acceptable, it's an okay job importing my slides uh, from PowerPoint into Storyline. But as you can see, there's a lot of issues here with some of the text, the layout of objects. You can see here is this map, and it looks like South America is totally broken off from North America. And there's a bunch of new lakes here in uh, Asia and the Middle East, you know, there's some issues, right? This is what you need to be aware of when you're importing PowerPoint slides from PowerPoint and into Storyline is that Storyline's going to do its best job converting what was in PowerPoint into Storyline, but everything that you can do in PowerPoint is not always um, 
uh, supported in Storyline. So for example, the reason my text looks a little messed up here is that the PowerPoint file I was using had certain fonts that I was using that weren't available on my computer. So it just replaced it with basic text here. Um, on this slide here, this image had a different effect applied to it. That's not supported here in Storyline, so it's just replaced that with a simple border here. Here's another really great example. On this slide, I mentioned earlier that uh, this image here uh, was smart art, right? If you've ever used smart art in PowerPoint, it creates these charts and graphs that you can edit. Well, Storyline doesn't support smart art, so it's converted it into a static image. I can't edit it here. Um, and so whenever you're importing PowerPoint slides into Storyline, you have to go through it and do a spot check, a really detailed spot check to see what did it do to your text, to your colors, to your shapes, to your images, depending on what you're importing uh, and how you set up your PowerPoint file and how complex it is. Colors might change, shapes might change, animations will likely change, smart art will get converted into static images, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I say all of this because while it might seem like importing from PowerPoint into Storyline can save you a bunch of time, by the time you finish going through and checking everything, fixing everything, it probably would have been faster just to rebuild this from scratch in the first place. So whenever you're thinking about importing PowerPoint slides into Storyline, you kind of have to do a cost-benefit analysis. I personally, I would have just rebuilt these in Storyline because then I would have known it's done right and I would have complete control over everything and I don't have to worry that maybe something that was a certain way in PowerPoint didn't get brought over. So I'll include a link down in the description about all the different things that are and are not supported when importing uh, from PowerPoint into Storyline and then you have to decide what's going to be best for you. You know, as I always tell people, your results may vary. Okie dokie. So that's how to import PowerPoint slides into Articulate Storyline and why I don't think you should bother with it at all. Of course, your results may vary. So if you have a huge PowerPoint deck, by all means, feel free to give it a try and it may work for you. Otherwise, more often than not, you'll find yourself spending more time trying to fix what Storyline attempted to import then it would have been you know, just faster to rebuild it from scratch on your own. So of course, I wanna know what you think. What other tips or questions or thoughts do you have about importing PowerPoint slides into Storyline? Has your experience been the same, different, or somewhere in between? Share your thoughts by commenting down below. And of course, while you're down there, make sure to check out all of the links down in the description for all of my other Articulate Storyline how-to videos, articles, and resources. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure to click the like, subscribe, and bell buttons down below to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, join us inside the eLearning Designers Academy, where we help new instructional designers and eLearning developers grow their careers by focusing on skills first. Otherwise, my name is Tim Slade, and until next time, I'll see you around.